What's up guys, it's Hudson here from Hudson's Tech and we are back with another tutorial in Adobe After Effects. Uh, so we're going to leave off, or we're going to start where we left off in the last uh, in the last tutorial. If you guys want to check that out, I talked about um, just the basics of editing templates and that kind of thing. So if you want to check that out, there will be a link in the description and annotations at the end of the video and everything. But um, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to render and export your videos for the best settings and all that stuff. Um, so uh, just once you're done... Uh, with your composition and everything and uh, you're ready to export it to um, your desktop or wherever you save your videos you're just gonna come up to where it says composition and you're gonna go add to render queue so this will take you down in your timeline here to a window uh, it'll say render settings best settings and you can come in here and edit all the things so best settings it'll show you what the uh, the size is gonna be so full you know you can change all this stuff um, most likely you'll want it to be high definition so you know 1920 by 1080 um, 1280 by 720 those kinds of things but just for the purpose of the video I'm just showing you you can see the frame rate and um, but best settings is probably what you're gonna want so you click OK there um, and in the output mode so this is mostly important um, so you're gonna want to pick you know whatever uh, you're gonna encode it as um, mainly uh, I would put H.264 um, just my personal preference um, also uh, if, if you want uh, I quick time you know it's not bad uh, MOV files are usually larger so you go with MP uh, MP4 MPG4 or 8.264 this is probably the best um, compression settings that I would go with um, and then you know click OK there and then to output to this is just where you're gonna save it to um, so we'll just call this test and then to the desktop it'll say h.264 in mp4 format and then all you gotta do is click render and this will take a little bit of time but uh, once that's all done it'll be saved to your desktop or like I said wherever you saved it to um, and yeah so those are just the main things all you gotta remember is go to composition add to render queue and then just mess with the settings to make sure that you guys have uh, what you need so I hope you enjoyed this quick video it's just to you know teach you guys that stuff if you have any suggestions or things that you want me to go over uh, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to cover that guys um, I got a couple of cool things coming up uh, I'm trying to put out some cool content so uh, yeah I'll talk to you guys in the next video and see ya peace